Welcome back to Living 808 and to Hawaii's Kitchen at Chef Zone. We are with El Ranchero. Leo's over there cooking up the beef fajitas, and Kimberly here is telling me all about um, about El Ranchero. And it's it's a uh, it's a place where you can go in and get, get some great authentic Mexican food. Yeah. So it's like a taqueria, which is like quick serve tacos. We make tacos fast. A taqueria. Taca, taqueria. Taqueria. Yeah. Taqueria. Okay. Taco so shop. a taco shop. There we go. Yeah. Taca, taqueria. <laughs> I like that. I like the word. Um, he, he's getting uh, the fajitas ready. This is steaming up kind of nice. I just kind of want to. Oh, you caught me. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's really good. Mixed up. So you're going to top it off with? Rice. Good rice, okay. And I see you got some peppers, onions, some zucchini. And then mushroom. black beans. Oh, and then, yeah, and then of course black beans. Any particular reason why you use the black beans? Yeah. Black beans are better? Yeah, I like the black beans, bro. It's your preference. Yeah, that's my <laughs> preference. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now, in the first segment, a little earlier in the show, we talked about you have, you have a salsa, like a salsa bar, yes? Yeah. Okay. So anybody who comes in can choose one of the four salsas. It's a complimentary salsa bar, so they can help themselves when they after they get their order. Okay. Yeah. And you said that the least spicy, by the way, brought my water in just in case. Uh, least spicy is the pico de gallo. Yes. Which I, I uh, love, by the way. And so on a spice scale of one to 10, how hot is this? 10 being the hottest. Two. See, I don't trust, I don't trust <laughs> you guys because my spice scale is so much different. So your two is probably more like my five uh, than this one is? Like a three or four. Three or four. Yeah. So m more like a six. Uh, and then these are almost equally as spicy? Uh, yeah. Okay. Same. All right. Here we go. Pico de gallo. I don't, uh, you said what? Two? Two. <laughs> I'd say it's about what I thought it was. About, I'd say about a four or five. <laughs> You must be used to this summer. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna double dip and turn the chip over. And this one is called what? Broyo. Broyo. And you said this is a three? Yeah. Mm, I was waiting for it to jump up and slap me. Okay, <laughs> let me cleanse my palate real quick. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because that's not spicy. <laughs> because on yours, yeah. on your scale, it's like a zero, zero. or a one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then this is called what? Oh, that's the ranchero. That's the ranchero. Uh -huh. And that's about what? Like scale? A six to seven. Mm. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just started sweating. Uh, it's one of our popular ones. Oh, it tastes good. Low cake. Oh. No? I would have had this more like here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that one's okay. I like that, but maybe I didn't get some of the little red stuff on the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this one is what called what? Moms. Moms. And so you know, anything that has the term mom on it means it was homemade and it was spicy. So on a scale of one to ten, what is that? Um, roughly around the same thing, maybe like a seven or eight. So. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to go to break. Seriously. Super good though, but there's some spice to it. Yep. And I don't ever trust Kimberly's scale because <laughs> she's the manager and she's been around it enough. <laughs> but that is really good. Salsa bar open. Yeah. Yeah. At El Ranchero and it's it's at the where exactly is the uh, is the restaurant? Waihua Shopping Center, right Waihua next Shopping. to Food Lab. Perfect. And we are in Hawaii's kitchen at Chef Zone. We're doing the beef fajitas and coming up next is the wet burrito. Yeah. That's when Perfect. we come back. I need some water or aqua fresca or something to right wash now, that down. Right now, he's pounding the water, eating some bread. I know. Well, I, I'm kind of excited because I'm super competitive, so I just found something that I could easily take the title from John on to, to outspice him. John Veneri, watch out. Yeah, Tanya's I know. coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the habanero, ghost peppers, all that, that's mm. good stuff. I mean, some of the funniest things are when they actually try it and have that live on camera. Yes. We see some reporters do I don't suggest maybe we shouldn't do that, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, to check in with John,
around. He's in San Diego, so yep. there's great Mexican mm -hmm. food over there. I wonder if he'll try and redeem himself. Guaranteed we're going to see a couple examples there. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and put him up to it. Well, of course, you, we don't you to miss take two.